Hey everybody, Tim Ralston here. You might know me for the Crowville, the Nax, the Crowville Tactical, all fantastic tools. But let me tell you, I've upped my game to a new level. This is called the Timahawk, and I'm gonna show you how this beast will be destructive. And that one tool you've gotta have in that bug out bag, the Timahawk. Check this out. <laughs> All right, everybody, let me give you the, the lowdown on what this Timahawk is. Now, this one isn't the pretty one. This isn't the one that you're going to get. This is the one I've already been beating up, all right? You're looking at 4130 hardened chromoly steel. It's also been heat treated. We get this blazing hot and oil quench it for you. This thing will keep an edge. We've got two grip points for this. You've got a great handle for when you're using the back end of this as a pry bar gives you some fantastic leverage and, and pulling capabilities. It's also got a rounded head up at the top. Ergonomically, it fits really good in your hand, but it also gives you a lot of leverage when you're using this ADS ADZ hammerhead at the other end. We all know what this is good for. I'm gonna show you how this thing can take the place of your shovel, but it's great for carving out wooden bowls. Hell, if I had the time, I'd make a canoe with this thing, all right? But you have another grip point here, which makes it fantastic for either fighting or doing small work, which I'm gonna demonstrate how you can do feather sticks with this. If I don't have a blade or a knife, this acts as my knife right now. No other ax is gonna allow you to be able to do that such close, tight work because of the way this is gripped protecting my knuckles if I were in a fight with this, it's amazing. So I know you guys are gonna say, what happened to the paracord handle, all right? Had to get rid of it, went to a G10 stock. Fits better, it's ergonomical, lightweight, water resistant, weather resistant, it's not gonna swell, it's not gonna, this is exactly the way it's gonna be years to come. Um, but you notice the tang, it's full tang, same thickness all the way through. So one thing my axes always did was break. This will not break ever on you. Coming back down to this end, of course, every one of my tools has a pry bar. You cannot go in a survival situation without being able to pry your way in or out of things, right? So this is amazing. All right, so let's go take this thing for a test drive. Of course, I'm gonna do all the other things that the other tomahawks and little axes does. I'll show you how it chops wood and everything else, but. Theirs can't do what this is gonna do. Let's go show you a few things that the Timahawk can do. All right, so let's look at some prying action with this thing. You've got your handle here. You got the pry business end here. If this were a door I needed to get into, a door jam, no problem. Be able to put some real tension on there. All right, so with the ads, I can either wedge it in or if I have to take a swing at it, swing it in. Get lots of action. So this grip point, this grip point is fantastic. If you're gonna be doing a lot of prying, it just is really is comfortable in your hands. Allows me to jam that in and then give all the torque I need. So for all of you that don't know, 4130, that's one of the toughest steels out there. Plus it's been hardened, pre-hardened. Um, and with the way that this geometry is, it's gonna give you a lot of torque to be able to get under, like this crate has gotta be well over a thousand pounds. But just with geometry and a strong steel, I'm able to move this whole board. Many circumstances you might need to get in place. So I can either use this end or I can use this end. Nice. So let's just pretend that this were a door. We need to get in, jam that in. Now I've got some leverage. How easy that pop that out. Nice. This is a, if you had to do a knock knock, kind of want to come in. This is a knock knock. I want to come in. Okay, so here's for the safety trolls that are out there. I get to wear these attractive glasses. I hate these things, but I don't know. Something could be flying.
as a defensive weapon, obviously, just pulling this out is quite scary. And there's a lot of different ways that we're gonna show you how to fight with this thing. But with the grip here, if I were to punch, if somebody were close, that is definitely a deterrent. But this over here is gonna simulate another attacker, multiple attackers, pretending this would be his shin bone or an arm bone. I wanna show you how the other end of this can be just as effective, right? So I want to simulate for those zombie lovers, coconuts, watermelons. I got a little watermelon about the size of a nice little zombie, but we're going to make ours a little tougher. We're going to put on a safety helmet. There we go. Now let's see what the Tin Lock can do. Ready? Three, two, one. I don't think we can save this one. The Timahawk. It's the only way to make salad. Oh, I gotta love this tool. All right, so let's do a quick simulation if I had to get into a building. Now normally we're gonna do a cinder block wall, but that's really, anybody can go through that. I wanted to do a solid block. It's about four inches thick with the battering capability. So if I had to breach using just this backside, we'll show you what I can do, okay? Ready? Let's try it. Not a problem with the Timahawk. telling you that is thick I've never been able to do that with any of my tools except for this one all right so obviously I'm not out in the woods but if I were out in the woods and I saw a very large pine which this isn't pine much harder this could basically build a canoe so I'm gonna build you a canoe right here but check this out this adds it's an ancient tool all right it's fantastic for digging but it's great for chipping so this super hard dense wood Just to make this little bit of a dent with a knife would take you forever. Even if you had a baton and do it, this makes really short work of, you know, getting small chips. Whether I wanted to use this for tinder or be able to hollow this out and use it as a water catch. So there's a lot that can be done with this end of the tool. This is just the start of it. I'm going to show you how this tool can literally save your life. Um, it also takes the place of quite a few different tools, even your shovel. I'll show you how it works. So, obviously with this, because of the grip position here, I'm able to control this thing so I can either make a, a fire feather stick here, like this, or if I were really wanting to shape this piece of wood to make myself a spoon or a fork out in the wilderness, you could do that. So, if this is all I have, this is all I need, because this will do the job of something really small and precise, as well as something that splitting wood, splitting heads, this is the tool you're going to want to have. For me, having the ability to entrench, build fire pits, super important. Carrying an extra shovel, not so good. Again, multi-tools, that's what it's all about. This adds, does a number. So we're going to dig ourselves a little hole, show you just how well it works. old-fashioned pickaxe digs right through it this is a great entrenching tool dig your fire pit relocate that water bring it in take out roots this thing 
this is the business end of it. It'll definitely do a number on any dirt surface that's out there. Go through roots, but gives you enough shovel power to be able to get through, move that dirt to Timahawk in dirt. I don't recommend throwing it, but we're gonna throw it just to see how this thing will work, yeah? Yep. Feels good. Feels strong with it. That's some power. You don't want to be in front of this. Whether I'm hitting it or throwing it, it's coming at you, the Timahawk. This is so much fun. Ah!